Perhaps, perhaps there's another. Never mind the other. I'm talking about this one. We could do, we could do something very original with it. Oh yes, make it an annex to the garden. No, but a kind of study. A study? Good Lord, you're not thinking I'm of going into studying, are you? Don't be aggravating, please. If you don't want the house, see me so at once. Please. Then we'll talk no more about it. I told you before we crossed the road that I didn't want it. As soon as you see a sign, villa for sale, you have to go inside and be shown over it. But we are buying a villa, aren't we? We are not. What do you mean we are not? Then we are not looking for a villa? Certainly not. It's just an idea you had stuck in your head for the past month. But we have talked about nothing else. You mean you have talked about nothing else? Mm -hmm. I have never talked about it. You see, you have talked about it so much that you thought that we were talking. If you say that you are looking for a villa, well, then that's different. Well, at any rate, whether I am looking for it or we are looking for it, the one thing that anyway matters is that I am looking for it for us. It's not for us. It's for your parents. You are simply trying to make me buy a villa so that you can put your father and mother in it. If you got what you want, do you realize what would happen? They would take possession of it the whole year. What's more, they would bring the whole tribe of your sister's children with them. Then no. I am very fond of your family, but not quite as fond as that. Why have you been looking over villas for the past week? I have not been looking over them. You have. And it bores me. Then stop being bored and buy one. That will finish it. We won't talk about it anymore. My darling. I quite admit that you want to buy a villa for your father and mother. But please admit on your side that I don't want to pay for it. There's my dowry. Your dowry? My poor child, we have spent that long ago. But since then you have made a fortune. Quite so. I have, but you haven't. Anyway, there's no use discussing it. I will not buy a villa and that ends it. Then it wasn't worth well coming in. That's exactly what I told you at the door. In that case, let's go. By all means. Good afternoon, madam. Monsieur. How do you do, madam? Good day, madam. Won't you sit down? As your first impression, a good one. Excellent. I'm not in the least surprised. It's a most delightful little place. Its appearance is modest, but it has a charm of its own. I can tell by just looking at you that it suits you admirably, as you're certain. The house possesses great many advantages. We have electricity, gas, water, telephone, and drainage. The bathroom is beautifully fitted. And the roof was entirely repaired last year. Oh, that's very important. Isn't it, darling? For whom? The garden is not very large. It's not long. It's not wide. But my word, it's high. That's not exactly what I meant, monsieur. Your husband is very witty, madame. As I was saying, the garden is not very large. But you see, it's surrounded by other gardens. But the principle of people who like children, Tavitini can always go live near school. Gaston, please don't joke. What this lady says is perfectly right. Will you tell me, madam, what price are you asking for this villa? Uh, well, uh, you see, I must admit, quite frankly, that I don't want to sell it anymore. Well, then there's nothing more to be said about. Please, I... Let the madam finish, darling. Thank you. I was going to say that for exceptional people like you, I don't mind giving it up. To you, I can say with perfect assurance. I agree. Yes, I will sell it to you. It's extremely kind of you. Extremely? Yes. But uh, what is the price, madam? You see, entirely furnished with all the fixtures. Just as it is, with the exception of that little picture, signed by Kent. 
I don't know if you have ever heard of St. Peter, have you? No, never. Neither have I, but I like the color and I would like to keep it, if you don't mind. For the villa itself, just as it stands, 250,000 francs. I would much rather dispose of it for less than its value to people like yourselves than to give it up even for more money to someone whom, someone whom I don't like. The price must seem decidedly excessive. Oh, no. Oh, yes, madame. Very well. I can't be fairer than this. Make me an offer. Well, if I did, it would be much less than that. Make it anyway. It's very awkward. I... Name something else, darling, just to please me. Well, I hardly know. Sixty thousand? Oh! Oh! What do you mean by oh? I give you my word of honor, monsieur. I cannot let it go for less than two hundred thousand. You have perfect right to do as you please, madame. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll be philanthropic and let you have it all. Two hundred thousand? And I will be equally good natured and let you keep it for the same price. In that case, there's nothing more to be said, monsieur. Good day, madame. One minute, darling. One minute. Before you definitely decide, I would love you to go to the upper floor with me. I'll show it to you with the greatest pleasure. This way, madame. This way, monsieur. No, thank you. Really? I have made my mind and I have not been brought up climbing stairs. Just as you wish, monsieur. Shall I lead the way? If you please, madame. <laughs> Two hundred thousand for a few yards of land? She must be thinking I'm crazy. Americans come to Europe to spend it. 
just the same. You ought to learn how to do business. Well then, how much? I should say... 300,000? The same for everyone, you know? Even though you're an American, I wouldn't dream of raising the price. Treat me the same as anybody. You say it is 300,000? I mean cash. How I get you? Cash now. Say, you're coming on. Uh, wait. I never know where they put my penalty. Let me tell you something. You better buy yourself a fountain pen with the money you get for the villa. What date is it today? It's 24th. You can fill in a name on the check yourself. I live in this hotel. Please rent them. My lawyer is who? Exactly. What? My lawyer is Mr. Who? Five room Campbell. He will get in touch with yours about the rest of the transaction. Goodbye. I'm delighted. Goodbye. Um, when are you leaving? Well, I don't quite know. When we like? Make it tomorrow. I'm an architect. Can come on Thursday. Goodbye. I'm delighted. Delighted to hear it, Sai. It's a very good thing in business when everyone is delighted.
Yes. Well, yes, show me. Okay, I think he has cheated you. We have been looking for this truth for a long time. You have to come to the court tomorrow. As you wish, darling. <laughs> the villa goes to your parents. 